Welcome. Hi, Paul. Hello. Hi. Megan, let me, oh, you got it. Awesome. How are you doing today? We are doing well. Excellent. Well, we're super excited. This whole showcase has been fun and fabulous. And we always do a little bit of housekeeping as we go through this transition. So um, I am Hannah Tiffany. I'm representing IDS for this showcase. Um, and I am the VP of IDS Seattle. I'm also on the board of the NKBA. And so I am really thrilled that we're able to partner for this event. And we've got a great lineup of, of presenter is a great lineup of product. And so my co-host is Susie Scott, um, representing the NKBA for us, and she'll be fielding questions. So of course, everybody use the chat box, use the questions. We want engagement. And um, our presenters, uh, Paul Valley and Alexa, um, are going to tell us today about custom closets and what they can offer with inspired closets by organized spaces. Um, just a little bit about Paul. If you don't know him, he is wonderfully engaged in our um, in our industry and in our community of designers and he's been supporting the NKBA and recently IDS um, wonderfully and we appreciate that. Um, he's been a successful local business owner for 18 years and he's a genuine fan of clean spaces and making people happy so closets is just perfect right. He's a social butterfly and a wine connoisseur and he doesn't ever turn down a chance to grill, wear a funky pair of socks, and have a good time. How did I do? <laughs> I would say it's accurate. <laughs> <laughs> and then today, after the presentation, we're going to be raffling off a Tag Hardware Symphony rack, size 19 by 13. So that's what's pictured on the slide. Um, so get excited about organizing some stuff in your space or maybe in a client space. All right, I'm going to launch a poll question to get us started. Um, we want to know from all of you um, how you handle your closet spaces working in design. So for the kitchen and bath designers, um, and for anyone in the audience, frankly, um, go ahead and launch your poll. How often do you use your cabinet companies for closets instead of a closet company? Um, you know, so often you're working in the bathroom and the client says, hey, can't you do my closet too? And of course, we never turn anyone down. So we always say yes. And then the question is, um, who do you go to for that cabinet, that system that you're putting into the closets? We're going to hang out for a little more. Um, we're getting some good votes coming in. Um, and I think these answers um, across the board are very, very interesting. We're kind of seeing even, um, and oh, I don't want to give anything away. Um, we'll just wait. Let's get a few more votes in, you know, maybe a couple more people, just give us, give us some answers. How often? Um, always, sometimes, rarely, never. Um, who do you go to when you need to design a closet space for the systems within that closet space? All right, let's get this launched. A couple more minutes, anyone else? All right, let's go. So we're gonna share the results. What do you think, Paul? Oh. That's interesting. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you know what this is? This is great news because if if it if it was one hundred percent always, then we wouldn't be able to grow our business. That's right. I just see this as just opportunities. I love it. Well, are we ready to start this presentation? Sure. Sure. Can you all hear that? No. Are you asking? <laughs> there we go. Oh. Bedroom. And. favorite uh, commercials to use. <laughs> so I, 
I saw that, I don't know how many years ago, um, we're not selling beer, um, but I thought that's a great connection between the closet industry and the kitchen and bath industry. Walk-in fridges, you know, part of a, I'm sure it was a very custom home and, and so was that closet. So um, I thought that'd be a good way to, to, to kind of enter into this thing with a little, hopefully a little, a little amusement. Um, uh, Mine's Paul, and this is Alexa, and it's not the, you know, Alexa, you know, can you turn my lights off, Alexa? I'm real. <laughs> but she's actually more important around here than Alexa would be. So the truth is, I think Alexa from Google was named after her for how much she does around here. So she's excellent. So um, uh, we are going to go through just some reasons why, if you don't, ever use a closet company or, or rarely, you know, there's some things you should think about in your projects that will really make your customers happy. That's, that's our, our, our thing, you know, is, love it. is making people happy. Yeah. Um, Paul, just give me some prompts if you're ready for me to move forward through the slides. And I know Susie has some questions as we go along. <laughs> all right. All right. So, so, so what we do is, is, uh, Anything you can use a dresser or, or, or a shelf or hanging space but in home, except we don't do kitchens. We're not competing with the kitchen and bath industry. I don't have a cabinet line in here. No one's gonna come in here and, and, and see that they can get their, another quote for their kitchen from us. Um, so we're not competing with anybody out there in the kitchen and bath industry. What we do uh, for kitchen and bath remodels is we do really creative pantries um, any other space in a home, any other, you know, the adjacent closets, linen closets, um, you know, entry closets, you know, bedroom closets, of course. And then we create master closets, um, you know, as part of a bathroom suite, a master suite. So um, you're not competing uh, with, with, the, with the closet line or a cabinet line here. Um, so would you go back, Hannah? Oh, sorry, thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so Closets are built with single pieces as opposed to boxes. The, the, the sh a shelf and a drawer can be varying widths. I, I've been through three remodels lately, personally, with you know, bathrooms and then, and then a basement and then a kitchen. And each time uh, we use, there are three different cabinet companies involved because I, I, I let the, the builder, uh, the contractor pick the, the brands because that's who they work with. So, but in each one, I, I, I faced roadblocks with sizes and depths and and heights and um and styles mixing a door drawer style that isn't part of their that line they they just told me no you can't get a slab door on that because it's technically an upper and we use you know shaker doors on uppers so i just ran into maybe a half a dozen little little obstructions each time with these cabinet companies where I make those changes all day, super easy. So uh, closet companies can be way more flexible in those, those unusual spaces. Um, and, uh, and definitely in depths and sizes and, and, and in, in styles of doors. Um, we're also not stuck with just laminate stuff. We, we can build this, this room is, could be white laminate or it could be, these could be painted door fronts and painted doors that are beautiful cabinetry grade items, but we build the, the box in white around it so that all you see is this beautiful painted finished front, or it could be a cherry with a, with a stain um, that matches one of our laminates. So um, you don't have to, to settle for an all laminate job. Most closet companies um, stay with all laminate, but we, we step out in, into something that's much more of a finished product for a, a, a true custom home and, you know, at, your, at your luxury price range. So. All right, so we can, we can try. Yeah, we can go to the next slide. <laughs> next slide, please. So the, the way that the cabinet closets are constructed allows more flexibility, especially to meet those special needs for cabinets and pantries and things like that, as opposed to a kitchen cabinet, right? Yeah, we, we uh, well, for instance, um, this room, is off the bathroom and they have a they have a, a style of, 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 of cabinet foot. If, if you look at that island, there's a little teeny uh, dresser foot there. That blends in with the feet in the in the bathroom. You know, we I ordered a couple of corbels, cut them down, put them together and made custom furniture feet just to tie in with the bathroom. 
So it's it's a you know, just a little feature really made it nice. Um, the the cabinet to the to the right on the the picture on the right, the cabinet to the right has a like an overhang out of our stuff, and we hung sliding doors uh, from that overhang. And then on the on the other side, the uh, the, the left photo where you're looking down past that purse, those double doors, there's a top cap laying over that as well. And, and on that side, the sliding doors are in the back. So you walk right through that double door, through the hanging clothes, and if there's, a, there's a, a barn door on the back of that, that's like a hidden door that goes into a, like a secret space. So I don't think you can get that from Canyon Creek. Not to call anyone out. <laughs> Not that Canyon Creek isn't a, it isn't, a, we just put them in our kitchen, but they just don't have that kind of ability to, to, to do stuff on the fly like that. That's no. very cool. Um, and in this, in this room also is, uh, you know, two of the drawers in the island are actually a door that has a safe behind it, but it functions as a dresser drawer. So, you know, you, you don't walk in a room and say, you know, oh, there's a safe, you know, you know, you have to take a few minutes to, to find the, the detail. So, um, you know, there's 50 inch wide shoe shelves right here that most people won't make a 50 inch shelf for you. Um, so that they're just things that we, we do that we just say, how wide do you want it? And they, you know, there's limitations, but if it can be done sensibly, um, we, we make all kinds of things work. And I, I just know what cabinets lines just don't really give you that kind of flexibility. Um, you can go, go next, please. I gotcha. So. This is displayed in our showroom also. If anybody wants to stop by at some time to look at this in person um, and see all the fun details and stuff. Yeah, what, 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 what did you add to this, the, the, you know, the, 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 the bling in there, Alexa? <laughs> Um, well, we did the decorative back panel in the uppers. Um, it's a adhesive wallpaper, so we brought out hints of um, blue and gold. We recently added the island top. Um, it is a blue and with a gold frame. Um, we also be adding new hardware to it. So um, right now it's chrome. We have gold and slate hardware options as well. Um, that on the back wall, that jewelry um, hanging section is also custom. Um, so we mounted the mirror and then framed it with some of our trim pieces. And then um, the necklaces are hanging off uh, knob, knob poles. Um, so that's a few of the things we've added to that. So uh, we have uh, over counter lighting on above that dresser top in the middle. We have backlit lighting behind uh, frosted glass with blue wallpaper behind that. So there's, there's a feature there. We have lighted rods in, in this as well. So you know, embedded in the, in the rod. Um, mm -hmm. my, my kitchen contractor just did a, a kitchen for us and he put up a, 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 a under counter lighting for us or over counter lighting. And he just put the, the, the sticky, you know, dot, dot, dot right on the, the, the wood. There's no valance. The, mm -hmm. The, the LED lighting is not in an extrusion with a lens on it. So the lighting we have above that valance that's above that dresser, um, it's, it's in a channel and then it's got a, an extrusion uh, cover that um, it, it's opaque. So you don't see the dot, dot, dot glare off of the glass. So yeah. Make, it makes it much nicer, softer light than, than, than the, the, the dot, dot, dot. Um, other features in this room, you know, there's a, 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 the toe kicks, you can tap with your foot and they, they pop out. So it's like a hidden drawer for uh, passports or just something you don't want to have out all the time for everybody to, to see if they're, they're snooping. Um, the cabinets are uh, one piece, 102 inches tall. It's not wow. a cabinet. That's a nice feature if you don't want to have a seam or, or just a one piece fits better. Um, we have... Um, a hot water heater cover you know, enclosed on the right hand corner that is um, basically hidden but uh, functional to, to get at access for servicing. Um, so we, we, you don't have to deal with the visibility of a, of a uh, hot water heater that's right in your, 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 your view. 
the um, jewelry top um, also has a lock in one of the drawers, so you're able to uh, lock those drawers so nobody can access it. Yeah. Um, and then there's a flute on the far left um, cabinet. If you look kind of in the middle, you'll see those detailed lines um, that actually does pull out, and it's a good place for hooks uh, for your belts and scarves and smaller things like that as well. And we, we've been buying a piece of uh, a cabinet door. The over the dresser is a, a, a uh, it's a big door with two panes and we put a piece of glass in those panes and we build that so you can look down into your top drawer and, and then we off, we mostly like that. Uh, we put that on our showroom a few uh, years ago. We, we sell them all the time. Anna, will you go to the next slide, please? Beautiful. Yes. Yeah. If some, if we wanted to see some before and afters, would hopping on your website be a good place to see some before and afters to help people realize the um, the abilities that you all have? Uh, no, <laughs> um, they can call us or email me. Um, I handle most of the photography and the photos, and so um, it's easier to get the before. Client um, designers and clients. Um, mm -hmm. our, our vendor right now handles our website, so you'll see more of a national um, display of photos versus um, our, our direct products that we do. And okay, so if someone wanted to see someone in the chat ask, they can just reach out to you directly and you can help them see some before and afters. Awesome, yes. great. Yeah, so here's, here's another example of one of those dressers with the glass top um, where it comes out as a peninsula and uh, you know, framed around a window, um, four panes of glass, um, looking into the, to a jewelry uh, drawer. And then as it goes the window, that's just a solid top. There is no panel there. There, there is no, no pane of glass. That just a, becomes like, like a, a, a counter. So um, we've done lots of these and it's really a pretty uh, addition to, to a room. And um, people love it. It, these two houses that they're 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 spec houses that that's not even a custom you know selection that the, the designer at that at those for that builder does these in in their their spec houses this is the same builder two different houses um they certainly love the glass top <laughs> um so the left is in white and the right is in morning mist um, um so on the right um the laminate is our color morning mist, and then we have a combination, I think it's bedrock in there also. And then that glass top, um, like Paul mentioned, is the, the door that's painted to match. Um, so you have three different um, colors in there that blend seamlessly. Any, any questions about how to build those islands or anything, anything like that? I do have a question um, about the toe kicks, because you mentioned in the other slide the the toe kick that you can kick out. And then in these photos, we're seeing a really nice sort of baseboard style toe. And um, do you, is it best to have the flooring finished before the closet goes in? Or do you put the closet systems in before the flooring is finished? You know, it depends. It, it, if it's gonna be built like cabinetry where everything is resting on the ground and some of these systems could have full back panels like, like a cabinet would, um, those things should be sitting on uh, on a solid surface or, or even subfloor, just like when you put your, your kitchen cabinets in, you usually do that before you, you tile it or, or whatever the, this flooring is gonna be. Um, it doesn't have to be so, but if we're gonna trim it to the ceiling, then they wanna talk about putting it on a, on a hard surface or subfloor, because if you put it on carpet and trim it to the ceiling, it's gonna kind of settle a little bit when you, when you start using it. So uh, we, can go, we can go on carpet, we can go on any kind of solid surface, or we can go down to subfloor, um, it, it really depends on the design and, and the builder preference and the, and the time frame. Mm -hmm. Very cool. We can go to the next slide. Um, we'll close out with um, an old project that Paul did and then we'll turn it to questions. Do we have any sneak peeks about this project before I... Well, you know, this, this one, uh, this is a crawl space. It, it was... Uh, Basically, it's adjacent to a, a closet, a quite a large closet. It's about a 50 foot wide closet. And they had this dead space in, in the wall that they, they, were, they don't know what to do with. And uh, we added this storage on later because they ran out of shoe space. We only gave them room for about 300 pair of shoes and they, 
blew right through it. So <laughs> in the crawl space for them uh, afterwards. All right, so let's see. 10 second video. Wow. <laughs> How many years ago was that? <laughs> that's that's about ten years ago. That's that awesome. is awesome. We're just gonna play it again one more time. I would like to have three hundred pairs of shoes. <laughs> oh yeah. Um. <laughs> so, Paul and Alexa, as a designer, what is the best way for us to get ourselves organized before we reach out to you? Um, I'm sure you're okay if we have nothing ready, but what? What sets everybody up for success for us to have items, questions, answers for you before we reach out to you to kind of kick start the process of designing, coordinating, pricing, all that good stuff? Any ideas? I, I got them. <laughs> we'll look at each other. You go first. Go first. <laughs> so um, mostly uh, the, the floor plan. Um, if, if you're going to do a, a, a major project, we want to be talked to when you're talking about cabinets. Um, the biggest thing right now for us is, is time. People are calling us with three to four weeks before they need their, their closets. And sometimes they want features like this. And, and we, need, we need the same time frame right now as, as your cabinets, basically. So um, floor plans, uh, a, a list of, of, of requests or, or photos are very helpful if, if your client's been thinking about this for years and they've got a, a, a Pinterest folder or something like that, that, that you can kind of give us a flavor of, because we can do things that are, are very contemporary or, or much more traditional, but you really kind of got to know that, you know, from the beginning, you know, in, in, in some of the design choices you make, you don't want to, you know, pick something that's very clean and, 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 and slim and, and modern when they want, you know, crown molding and, you know, all this, you know, you know very detailed or ornate doors and, door style so um kind of the, the style um the list so lighting if a lot of people want lighting we oh, like to know yeah. way in advance because we need to know uh where the outlets are first um that's a lot harder to change than the design of a closet and so we kind of work around where the outlets are um to be able to tell your clients or yourself um what spaces in the closet would fit well with the lighting mm -hmm. it's big because awesome. electricians have to get involved early uh, you know, before they drywall it, because in, in that one in our showroom, we have lighting built in, but I pick the, the outlet locations so that all the drivers are accessible with no tools. And that's the way we want to leave your, your client's job. We want to be able to, to access everything and troubleshoot without tearing it apart. You know, we, we don't bury cords and, and, and outlets and drivers because if you need to get at them, you know, we don't want to have, a, you know, two guys in a van go out and tear a closet apart to, to, to change a, a, a driver out. So part of our lighting plan is always a, a cord path in a, in a driver uh, location that's easy to access. And uh, and that, that's, that's a really important part of the light process. So getting in the outlets in the right places is, is important. Awesome. And so when when a designer has all of those items ready to bring to you guys to start chatting, what's the best way to reach out or who is the best person to reach out to? I know you guys have a handful of designers on staff. Uh, me. <laughs> awesome. I, I handle um, communication um, for the majority of the company. And so um, any, um, unless you already have a designer here that you've worked with, have connection with, um, you can call them directly, but um, all new and prospect clients, um, I start by getting the information that I connect them with the right designer um, based upon location and, and time frame and things like that. Um, How are you? Oh, what is your email? I'm going to put it in the chat just in case anybody has a project and they want to reach out to you. It's Alexa, A L E X A, at organizedspaces.com. Awesome. I have another. Um, since we're all handling this uh, virus, you know, to the best of our abilities, how are you all doing the showroom right now? Do you do appointments? Um, do you do virtual tours? How do you like to meet with clients and with customers? 
Can you answer that? It's by, yeah. <laughs> it's by appointment right now. Um, so I work here in the showroom full time. Um, I am a student, so I um, have my classes in the morning, but um, we're pretty much open in the afternoons. If people just call, um, you can usually get in the same day. Um, I'm happy to go through with new clients and show them around. A lot of times designers, um, after they've created a design with their clients, they'll send it in and I can review the designs with them, show them specifically, you know, in their design, they had five sets of eight inch drawers. I can show them what that looks like. Um, we are not necessarily doing tours virtually through the showroom because you can come in. Um, I am here and yeah. But we, we do uh, go by appointments. Our, our designers have a calendar that they don't overbook. You know, we don't have a bunch of, you know, over overlapping clients here. Um, so that, that's important right now. We're, we're, we're not masked up, but you can't see this in this, this screen between us. We've, we've got our, <laughs> A cone of silence here. Um, and my dog comes to work with me, so that's always a plus. Aww, that's awesome. Nice uh, <laughs> yeah, we had another question from um, all of our attendees, and someone was wondering about Murphy beds. Do you all do those? Do you provide them? What? How? How do we tackle uh, designing and specifying a Murphy bed with you guys? We have one in our showroom it's for, for testing and you know pulling it down and, and you know pushing it up to get the feel of it. But we incorporate Murphy beds into a lot of second bedrooms and and uh, like bedrooms that double as offices. You can have desks that flip down off the front of them. Um, so yeah, we, we have one. Okay, and then mattress and all of that, every, everything we would need for the Murphy bed, we could coordinate with you. Or would there be a, a few things on our end as a designer that we would need to make sure we we coordinated with the client or contractor. Yeah, the, so the mattress and the you know the bedding is is, is something you get separately. Okay. I have one last question before our raffle. Unless Susie, unless there's something else coming from you, um, the question that I always want to know is, oh, sorry. Um, no, you're good. If I'm starting with a client and they want to budget for their closet. Um, and I, before we even get to a point where we can start talking about anything else, um, what is the range low to high of what you can typically tell a client, you know, expect this or be prepared for this. And then if we really want to get it down to this, here's where we can realistically be. So you can do a 10 by 10 closet for a few thousand dollars and get lots of, you know, hanging and, you know, shelving, you know, kind of mixed hanging heights. Um, but you can also spend 25,000 in that same space. It, it depends on their, their Pinterest page and what they like, what they're expecting. And, and typically a, a 10 by 10 closet, it's a big closet, but you know, the average spend and something like that with a little bit of drawers is like five or $6,000. Um, so it's hard to give you a, a, a range, but, you know, you know, two to 25, but we can narrow it down significantly when you, if you show us a picture of what you want and, and just even a rough idea of, you know, it, it's 10 by 10 and here's my picture. I can pretty much get you something within a, a, a much narrower range, you know, a, a six to eight or a, or a, you know, nine to t nine to 10 range. If I can just see those two things. Perfect. No, that answered the question perfectly. Um, yeah, I have, I have one last question. So if we are wanting to have our client come to tour the showroom, because we've, we've already chatted with Alexa, we've had some emails back and forth, she knows exactly what the design style is, the design, everything we're going for. And for whatever reason, we're not going to meet the client there. Are we able to connect them with you or set that up so they can come do a tour with you all? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Usually, that's usually how it works. Um, oh, great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are we, oh, are we ready for this um, raffle? We are. We are. I already have the person too. Let's just make sure they're still here. They are not still here. Hold on. <laughs> Getting ahead okay. of ourselves. Oh, this is, this is like a piece of art. We also have one of these hanging in the showroom. Uh, this is really pretty. Mm -hmm. 
I would love one of those in my, well, I don't have enough space in my closet, but in the bedroom or even in the bathroom, I assume, if you have a really big bathroom. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have it. Dum, dum, Our dum. winner is Barbara. Barbara, you do not have your last name on there. And if you just raise, oh girl, you were on it. You raised your hand. Awesome. Paul, thank you so much for being here. And I have one more question. And before we switch over to our next presentation, can you ensconce a closet in velvet? Because that's what our next presentation is about. <laughs> Upon velvet. We, do some, uh, we have done some velvet lined drawers. Um, you know, stacks of drawers, everything with velvet liner on the bottom. So yes, 